The 45th annual Houston Pride Celebration is in full swing. Events are happening throughout the city all weekend. One big question, though, is security and what's being done to keep parade goers safe? KPRC 2's Severa Rayford is live in Montrose. She took those questions to the city and Pride Houston organizers. Severa, what'd you find out? Candace, Andy, now this is where organizers are asking people to hang out and spend the beginning of the Pride festivities right here with their restaurants, the bars to keep cool. Now, they also told me safety is a big, important issue here, but as well as security. In Montrose. We're just out and about for the weekend. People from different backgrounds in cities preparing to celebrate. Well, everyone's just in town from Michigan for Pride. To avoid the heat this year, parade organizers decided to reroute the daytime festivities, asking people to go support restaurants and bars in this area before heading to the parade downtown, which starts Saturday at 7 p.m. on Smith and Milam. We are certainly prepared ready to go um, as far as you know we have all of our partners from the police ems fire the houston office of emergency management says focusing on a half day instead of the whole day helps there will be officers who are in uniforms there will be officers who are not in uniforms um, multiple departments uh, that are there to you know we coordinate with to make sure everyone's on the same page organizers say in total 26 agencies are involved in keeping the event running smoothly if there are threats uh, that are if it was made on social media, for example, that's just a hypothetical, but we have, uh, you know, there, there are resources that monitor those things and that can identify them, determine their credibility and 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 act on them if necessary. Parade organizer Kendra Walker says their message is clear. This year's Pride Parade is called All We Need Is Love and because love is the antidote to hate. The parade will also have several cooling stations and buses as well for people to enjoy and definitely try and beat this heat. Reporting live in Montrose, Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News.